caused the World Trade Center to collapse. Okay, jet fuel doesn't even burn hot enough to melt through steel, but the sheeple, they'll believe anything they say. That's right. Did you know that the moon landing was actually shot in a studio in Burbank, California? Um, yeah, do you think I'm an idiot? Also, do you know who the director of that was? Stanley, Stanley Kubrick. Kubrick! Yeah, I mean, you can literally see the flag blowing in the wind. Yeah, you can see the strings that they used to make the astronauts bounce. Well, you know what? They had to beat the Russians and they had to do what they had to do. They don't want you to know the truth. Mm -mm. Evolution, vaccinations. AIDS. What about AIDS? They specifically manufactured it in order to kill black people. Of course. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sarah? Sorry? Do you know any conspiracies? Oh, I don't, I don't really believe in any of that stuff. <laughs> so, are, you, are you serious? You mean you just believe the official story? Okay, you need to be a little bit more skeptical, Sarah. You need to wake up. Otherwise you are just believing what they want you to believe. They. They. What if I told you I read something recently? It wasn't part of the mainstream media, was Liars it? Liars and shills. That's who works for them. No, no, no. Definitely not mainstream media. It was online. It was a video. It was an online video. Mm. Checks out. Okay. Go on. Mm. It was about a secret organization called The Butlers. The Butlers? Yeah. Because they bottled knowledge. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, the butlers uncovered the one great truth which has been suppressed for all of history and every time someone tries to reveal it, they pounce. They. What was the secret? That we all really can find out the truth for ourselves. But how? I can't talk about it here. In public, they might be listening. The secrets of the bottlers have been kept for thousands of years. Only very special people get to hear it. We're special. You're definitely not sheeple. No, we're woke, remember? Woke. Well, the first enlightenment principle of the bottlers was that there is no such thing as absolute certainty. There is only degrees of probability. So say you have two competing ideas. One of those ideas will probably have more evidence than the other. So it is probably, not certainly, but probably the better idea. But what if you've got two ideas that both have a lot of evidence. That is a great question, Ben. It was a really good one. And the butler's answer to that was so radical and so profound that the world is not ready to hear it yet. What was it? That it's okay to say, I don't know. Whoa. So the butlers believed that if you don't have sufficient evidence to draw a conclusion, then you don't just make up some bullshit to fill in the gaps. You just say, I don't know. Amazing. But then how do you find out? Well, we can look at the evidence, we can document, we can observe, we can weigh up the probabilities, we can check our information sources. Mm, I don't know. This is starting to sound a lot like science. No, 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 not science. Ancient wisdom from a mystical organization. Sounds legit. So what happened to these? Shh. What do you think happened? They got them. There really is no hope for humanity. They are everywhere. Well, as the butlers always said, 
as long as we can enlighten enough people, we might all realize that they is actually us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You really close. got us going there for a that while. That was a close one. They is us. Okay. <laughs> How can they be us? Literally impossible. <laughs> Good one, though. It's close.